Early morning in this livestock market at the heart of Wajia town in Kenya's northeast. Ibrahim Ahmed takes personally through M Nomad, an online livestock marketplace. He co-founded the site with Abdrahman Ahmed in 2019. He says small rural farmers now have much easier way to buy and sell their livestock. We normally come to a market like this to register uh, the pastoralist list and get their data, like the number of animals and the you know the prices, and then we connect them with the uh, livestock buyers who are mainly uh, bulk buyers. They normally want uh, like a specific type of animal, and uh, they cannot reach up to th these markets. Ahmed says M Nomad has done livestock transactions for hundreds of clients from as far as Mogadishu in Somalia by connecting buyers and sellers online. One of the main benefits of M Nomad is a better price for pastoralists. We, we try to give them a better price, 20 to 25% better price than what they get in the market. Because for us, uh, the buyer is from somewhere else. M Nomad is the first product of Geldil Technologies Limited, which was also co-founded by Ibrahim Ahmed it covers over 10 market areas in northern Kenya and has registered more than 300 personalists, including Siad Ali. I'm a pastoralist with 78 goats. Gel here helped me make a profit by selling my livestock in far areas, but I am hoping to sell more in the future. Kenya's Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock estimates about 60% of the livestock population in Kenya is found in the arid and semi-arid lands. For majority of the people living here, livestock is their main source of income, but officials say the sector has been on decline. We had five seasons of rain, failed rainfall. We have lost over 30% of our livestock population. So to counter this, we are introducing, together with the help of our partners, uh, piloting of feedlots, fattening centers, and fodder production, so that we can at least reduce the risk of livestock deaths during times of calamities. The livestock sector in Kenya is not centralized, and experts say counties should put more funds in the establishment of proper market infrastructure. <laughs> We want the government to help us sell our livestock overseas because at the moment we have a bad market. Other than Mogadishu and Nairobi, we don't have another market, but we need help. By the end of 2023, MNOMAD plans to expand its coverage inside Kenya and to neighboring countries. I'm the same for VO News, Wajia, Kenya.